FTC events are in full swing and we're here to recap four fantastic events the 2021 Oregon Silicon Forest League Meet 2, Chesapeake Columbia Qualifier 2, Chesapeake Laurel Qualifier 2, and Chesapeake Glen Allen Qualifier. All here coming up on FTC Recap. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We'd like to thank Stryker for their continued support of First Updates Now. Stryker's internship portal is now open and available. Discover internships and rotational programs located around the world, including their headquarters in Michigan, when you go to careers.stryker.com and click on Students and Graduates. First Updates Now is supported by Kettering University. On average, Kettering students earn $45,000 to $70,000 over the course of their co-op program to help them graduate debt-free. 99% of students qualify for a merit scholarship, and you can apply for one of the 80-plus first scholarships worth up to $25,000 each. Schedule your virtual visit to get started at Kettering.edu. Hi everyone, I'm Sanjay from FunFTC, and today we'll be looking at the Silicon Forest East League Meet 2 held in Hillsboro, Oregon. The high score for this event was set at 260 points by two consistently high scoring teams in Oregon, Team 12808 Revamped Robotics and 12599 Overcharged. The high score was then followed up by a 218 point match and a 213 point match. Some unique robots from this event include Team 12599 Overcharged with their really fast intake as they never had to spend more than 2 seconds in the warehouse as well as teams 6712 Knights of the Round Cable and their unique tread style drivetrain. And last but not least, team 8610 Toe Vortex clean aesthetic and really fast carousel spinner. During the 260 point match, we could even see some interesting strategies in play, such as one team cycling in the shared hub, while the Alliance team sh cycles in the Alliance shipping hub. At the end of the league meet, Team Overcharge was ranked first, followed by Revamped Robotics taking second, and Tech taking third. It will be very interesting to see how the performance of Oregon teams increase and strategies change as more teams compete and improve their robots. That's it for this event, and we'll see you next time on First Updates Now. Hi, I'm Ishan from FunFTC, and today we're going to recap the Chesapeake 2 Columbia Qualifier taking place in Columbia, Maryland on December 4th and 5th. This was the first qualifier to take place this season for the first Chesapeake region. This event was broken into two cohorts which each acted as independent events. They had their own elimination matches, finals, and awards due to COVID-19. In the first cohort, the highest qualification match score was 162 points, scored by 20096 the Sentinels and 19670 Turtle Robotics. The Sentinels took the number 1 seed and Turtle Robotics took the number 3 seed. 12518 Almon Robotics held the second seed, and 18792 Penguin Robotics had the fourth seed, despite going undefeated in qualification matches. During the Alliance selection, the Sentinels picked Turtle Robotics to hopefully set some more high scores moving forward. 19434 Redstone Mechanics became the fourth Alliance captain. The semifinals were swept by the higher seeds, all scoring above 100 points in all of their matches. The finals, however, was won by the number two seed, with a high score of 147 points being scored in finals match two. The winning alliance consisted of Almond Robotics and 10442 Metro Mechanics. Almond Robotics also won the Inspire Award with 5233 Vector taking second place and 19994 Andromeda taking third place. Moving on from this cohort to the Chesapeake Championship are Almond Robotics, Vector, and Metro Mechanics. In the second cohort, we had a significant number of teams that have been competing for years and have won the Maryland and or Virginia State Championship in the past. The average qualification match score was 84.2 points and a high score of 138 points was scored by 11112 Robolords and 11534 Bot Brigade Quartet. Robolords took the number one seed and Bot Brigade Quartet took the third seed with veterans 2818G4 taking the second seed and 5421 Armed and Dangerous taking the fourth seed. Arms and Dangerous accepted Robolord's invitation to join their alliance, leading 12888 Stingers becoming the fourth alliance captain. The semifinals were all swept by the higher seed, with the number one alliance breaking 200 points for the first time in the Chesapeake region. In the finals, the number one alliance had 200 points twice, tying the event high score of 216 points in the second finals match. Robolords was also the Inspire Award winner with 13599 the Bruin Bots taking second and 20122 to Exponential taking third. Advancing to the Chesapeake Championship in the second cohort are Robolords, Bruin Bots, and Armed and Dangerous. True standouts from this event in terms of robot was Armed and Dangerous. They had one of the fastest robots, were able to do cycles in 7 to 10 seconds, 
and they really turned it up during the finals to help their alliance hit 200 twice in the finals and once in the semifinals. They were also one of the only teams to be able to cycle during auto, and as the season progresses, I will expect more teams to be able to do that in the Chesapeake region. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan, and today we're going to be recapping the Chesapeake Laurel 2 qualifier taking place in Laurel, Maryland on December 11th and 12th. This event was broken into two cohorts which acted as independent events. They each had their own elimination matches and awards due to COVID-19. The first cohort had a highest qualification match score of 118 points scored by 7393 the Electron Volts and 7518 the Kuo Kogiers. The Electron Volts took the number one seed with 6417 Blue Crew taking the number two seed, 17080 Newt.exe taking the third seed, 6341 Ducks taking the fourth seed. None of the Alliance captains picked each other due to the low number of advancement slots. The number 4 seed upset the number 1 seed in two matches in the semifinals, and the number 2 seed came back from being down in the first match to beat the number 3 seed in three matches. In the finals, the 4th Alliance captain comprising of Blue Crew and 17971 Helix Hackers swept, setting an event high score of 154 points in finals match number 2. In terms of awards, Felix Actors won the Inspire Award, with Newt.exe taking second, and the Electron Volts taking third. Moving on to the Chesapeake Championship from the first cohort of the Felix Actors, Double Zero Ducks, and Newt.exe. In the second cohort, scores were higher, with a qualification match high score of 187 points set by 4451, The Fighting Foxes, and 19458, Equilibrium.exe. Semis were swept by the higher seeds, with all the matches being won with at least 100 points. In semifinals match number 2, the event high score of 186 points was set by the number 2 alliance comprising of the Tactical Sheep and 15167, the Robo Troopers. The firepower was not consistent enough to beat out the number 1 alliance comprising of the Fighting Foxes and 14923 Aces, which swept the finals. The Tactical Sheep won the Inspire Award with Equilibrium.exe taking 2nd place and 18264, the Electronova, taking 3rd. Tackle the Sheep, Fighting Foxes, and Equilibrium.exe will advance to the Chesapeake Championship from this qualifier. In the match that's currently playing, semi-final to match number two from the second cohort, the difference in this match actually ended up being freight that the blue line scored on the shared hub that bounced to the red alliance side. Had they not scored this freight, it would have been tipped in their favor, plus they would have additional freight on their side, allowing them to win this match. This just shows how important accurate and precise placement of freight will be in the future as hubs get more filled. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan from Fun FTC, and today we're going to recap the Chesapeake Glen Allen Qualifier taking place in Glen Allen, Virginia. This event was broken into two cohorts, each acting as independent events. They had their own elimination matches and finals due to COVID-19, and they also had their own awards. In the first cohort, the highest score was 115 points scored by 15304 Circuitry and 11209 the Code Crushing Griffins. Those two teams took the number one and two Alliance Captain spots respectively. Third Alliance Captain was 16720 Pohatin 3, and the fourth Alliance Captain was 7953 Vertigo. All the elimination matches were swept by the higher seed, with the winning Alliance being 15304 Circuitry and 16537 Logic Coyote. They set an event high score of 139 points in finals match 2. In terms of awards, Logic Coyote won Inspire with 7278 Library Bots taking second and 15304 Circuitry taking third. Moving on to the Chesapeake State Championship, from the first cohort is Logic Coyote, Circuitry, and the Library Bots. In the second cohort, there were only 13 teams, but much higher scores. In the qualification matches, 16439 AlphaGo along with 9830 Robot Litz set a high score of 152 points. Like the first cohort, both of these teams took the number 1 and 2 seeds respectively, but ended up pairing together during elimination matches with AlphaGo being the captain and Robot Litz being the first pick. The number 1 seed swept the semifinals, while the number 3 seed pulled an upset in the semifinals to move into the finals. In the finals, the number 1 seed set a high score of 162 points in the first finals match, but they lost the second finals match. In the end, the number 1 seed won the third finals match, winning the entire event. The winning alliance captain AlphaGo also happened to win the Inspire Award with 20337 Say What taking second place and 11804 Stick Shift taking third place. Only two teams advanced from this cohort because of the low number of teams and they were AlphaGo and Say What. By accepting AlphaGo's invitation to join their alliance, Robot Litz might have given up their chance to advance to the Chesapeake State Championship since the Inspire Award, then the winning alliance captain, then Inspire Award number two, then winning alliance captain first pick is the order of advancement. 
AlphaGo was a real standout at this event, with being one of the only teams to score more than three pieces of freight in the line shipping hub. It'll be interesting to see how strategies change when more teams are able to do this. That's it for this event. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching FTC Recap. We'll have new recap videos coming out every couple weeks, including featured events like next week, we'll be covering the Michigan State Championship. If you'd like to have your region featured on Fun FTC, shoot us a message on Discord with video links so we can cover that recap. We'll also be starting up the FTC Top 25 soon. So check our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now, the FTC Discord, and also Fun FTC socials for when that will be coming out. We'll see you next time on Fun FTC. Talk to you then. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Kettering University is a national leader in experiential STEM and business education. Discover why so many FIRST alumni come to Kettering University by scheduling a virtual visit at Kettering.edu. We'd like to thank Stryker for their continued support of FIRST Updates Now. Stryker's internship portal is now open and available. Discover internships and rotational programs located around the world, including their headquarters in Michigan, when you go to careers.stryker.com and click on Students and Graduates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.